Hi, host Eric here. Let's talk with the people. And I rubbed something in my eye that I should not have. It's very stingy. It must be from that plant outside that I was trying to balance the phone on. Anyway, painful suffering ensues. But what do we get? What do you mean, we? There's only going to be one of you. Okay, fine. What do I get? What do I get, host Eric, for being your mate? So I've already told you i got to pay the bills and suck your dick. <laughs> okay, first of all, by paying the bills, I mean actually make sure they get paid, not earn the money to pay for them. Okay, I will do that. So what, what do you get? Well, I'll support you. Like, I mean, I'll free room and board. You <laughs> get free room and board. Um... You get to help me manage my business and my finances and stuff a little bit, and you know, every, you get half of everything I have. You become my wife, basically. I don't operate any other way. Our relationship is everything joint, hundred percent. So, I mean, probably if I can get this thing set up properly, then I won't even have to think about the money, and you'll just be in charge, and you can determine. You know, what you want to do and stuff. I want you to play with me. I want you to stay around here and play with me all the time. If you have a job, that's fine, but I just want somebody to stay around and play with me all the time. Anyway, it'd be nice if you were attractive for the YouTube channel. Yeah, you're going to have to make videos with me. All right, we're going to make all kinds of relationship videos and stuff. Well, that's because of what I want. If you don't want that, then you're not my woman. Yeah, I'm going to talk about all kinds of shit. No, I don't have any sense of privacy. Get over it. Who fucking cares? I fucking hate privacy. What else do you get? Well, you get me loving you, genuinely. I'm a very loving person. I don't know how much love you can handle. <laughs> I got a lot of love to give. But I'm also busy with my projects. But I'm busy sitting right here, you know? I'm not I'm not running out around town. And wherever I go, I'd like you to be with me. Wherever you are. Where are you trying to be? I'm looking for a real full blast significant other. So if you're still of childbearing age, then um, I'm totally going to put babies in there. That's fine. My parents would be pissed. <laughs> but, uh,. How oh, the fucking stuff stings, man. Uh, you'll discover I'm very, very cooperative in general. If you're reasonable and rational, okay? You don't have to be a thinker. I have no problem dealing with feelers. But you gotta be fair. You gotta be reasonable. I will I will always be erring on the side of of giving you the benefit of the doubt about anything. You know, making sure that things are more than fair for you. I like my woman to be happy. I want to be with a happy woman who is not being volatile, not being fussy, not being difficult unnecessarily, who is happy to be happy, like me. You know, I'm happy to be happy in life. And my default state is happy and optimistic. And I really think it would be nice to have another person who's happy and optimistic by default. ISFJ, ESFJ would be great. I'd love to try taking a shot at an ESFJ. That could have worked. My last relationship. I mean, that's a real relationship. <laughs> this little thing I just did was, Eric, you're fucking crazy. What are you thinking? You're not. You're thinking with your penis. <sighs> Eric, you are so insane. Like the problem here is that I am I have learned from this. I will no longer 
do that. Probably will the very next chick to talk to me. <laughs> Probably. <sighs> Hopefully not. Unless she's perfect, of course. Then what are you going to do? The last one was perfect, too, he said. Eric, you are completely retarded when it comes to your feelings. I need a woman who can help me with that a little bit. All right, all you got to do is protect me. Protect my emotions. I'll protect the shit out of you. Don't worry about it. Any and all comers. Pia pia. I gave this ridiculous little tryst that I just had every fucking ounce of my soul. <laughs> and it, but objectively, there's no way in hell I should have done that. So, I don't know. You know what you're getting. I'm all in with shit, usually. If I like you a lot, then it's all over. I'm all in until you get rid of me. I told this woman, too, I was like, I'm going to force you to make a real decision. You're not going to, you're not going to ease out of this. When I did force her to. <laughs> when she started to realize that I was either going to fix it or keep hammering. <laughs> she understood that, oh, I'm not going to be able to slide out of this. I have to actually break up with you. Mm -hmm. You did, didn't you? I told you. My streak's intact. Still haven't ever broken up with anybody. I still haven't cheated on anybody during the course of my entire adult life from age 19 to now. That's what you'll get. You'll get somebody who doesn't cheat. That's for sure. You don't even have to think twice about it. It'll never fucking happen. If I was going to cheat, I would have cheated on Candace with Kimball. But I didn't. I never touched her. Never even hugged her. Um, because I take that shit really, really seriously. So if you're going to cheat, then stay the fuck away from me. Okay? Because I don't roll like that. If you don't cheat, we will have a very pleasant party. And if we do part ways, we won't be won't be angry or anything. It'll be amicable. I, I'm all for being friends afterwards. After you are together with somebody. You know? My first wife was fucking crazy, but... Um, second wife I'm still perfectly fine friends with. Perfectly fine friends. The new best-selling novel by... Pain Blyes. The Native American storyteller, renowned. Uh, okay, yeah, so I'm an addict of multiple things. I'm a smoker, obviously. I do smoke pot all the time, and I take Adderall, too. Gladly take mushrooms anytime I'm going to give them to me, but I don't seek them out or anything. Um, I don't drink any alcohol, and I won't permit alcohol in the house. as a storage thing you, it's fine to have to drink alcohol like oh I wanna I wanna go get a one of those big beers and drink it with dinner fine I don't give a fuck but I don't wanna have my alcohol in my fridge I don't wanna have alcohol in my house being kept here and that's just one of the deal breakers for me so that's a deal breaker and if you want to suck my dick that's a deal breaker <laughs> that's a deal one is like my dick and I mean it's not all you're gonna get I'm just saying I tend to be a little bit uh I'm, I'm put, you could say I'm on the bossier side rather than the subordinate side on in the bedroom. Um, but I'm not anything crazy. Like 
I'm not into using objects not our body. <laughs> I don't want to tie anybody up or anything like that. So that's basically the gist of it you get from me. You're gonna be a very good girl. I'm confident. <laughs>